hello all and welcome back and this is Naveen from UI brains and if you are new to this channel and please do subscribe and uh, show your support okay um, so last class we have actually discussed about the node.js and in this video we're going to understand uh, what is express.js okay uh, and how to create a server with express.js and how to make routing with express.js and what is middlewares and authentication system like almost every concept uh, we're going to discuss with express.js uh, from now okay uh, so first of all uh, the very first example what we discuss is uh, how to create a server with express.js okay first make the express.js setup uh, so if you want to know more about the express.js uh, documentation you can just go to google and search for express.js so when you go inside of this yeah, this is the official website expressjs.com and uh, here you can find uh, uh, everything about the expressjs it's very fast and unopinionated uh, minimalist web framework for node.js and uh, uh, you can just go through the guidelines yeah okay so let's start creating the expressjs with typescript setup uh, the very first thing what we do is let's create a folder uh, so new directory fresh folder now uh, 09 hyphen uh, express express hyphen uh, js express js creating server okay and meanwhile let's open the insomnia because i want to test the backend so let's make the insomnia software around okay so here so what is the thing you have to create first is you must have to create first uh, uh, one package.json one ts config file and then express so let me uh, create uh, first i go to terminal so here uh, what i do is npm init hyphen hyphen s or just y both are possible so you get the package of json the default package of json and then you say tsc space hyphen hyphen init so this is gonna create a type zip configuration file and after that you have to install a set of packages so what are the set of packages you're gonna install is see here uh, the very first thing is node okay so the, that one is uh, with typescript so it types uh, slash node we have to install and one more is express we have to install because it's a third party module and uh, after that we have to install one more thing that is uh, it types uh, slash express okay so these three modules we have to install to make a setup with express so how we install all together is let's make them in a single line okay and just say just say npm install okay so let's copy this command and make sure where whenever you want to write the express js setup you need these things copy go to the terminal of your project and let's paste it enter and make sure you have a internet connection before you execute these commands okay because this is going to download uh, uh, the express js uh, uh, libraries from online and gets installed in your uh, project location where the node modules folder okay so you must have the internet connection uh, it's done okay so next step what we do is uh, go to tsconfig.json and slightly change the target to ES 20, uh, 2017 so ES 6 version and uh, in package.json uh, wait so first let me create one file for server startup so let's say server.ts okay this is server.ts file you create and here we're gonna write a server creation logic using express.js okay so this uh, startup command we have to configure in package.json so what i do is uh, go back to the package.json scripts location let's say uh, start script and uh, what is the command you're gonna run is again same like uh, earlier node mon space server.ts okay and the same server.ts you have to make in the main because the main file the main startup file for uh, the whole project is uh, server.json server.ts file okay so main file server.ts and especially the scripts 
node mon and why are we using node mon because we have to restart the server automatically and whenever the file change is detected because whenever you do the file change it should restart the server automatically to, to detect those changes okay in the server so done with this so now it's time to create um, express uh, with server creation okay so let's say import generally we write require keyword for javascript and here is import statement so import express from express okay express and then mm, you need to initialize it okay this is just loading express uh, library and just say constant app is equal to express express you have to initialize okay uh, constant app is equal to express so this whatever you have loaded the library you need to initialize like this okay so now it start this app is work as a express application okay and you can even specify because this is a typescript program so you need to specify the app of type express dot application okay the type of app is express dot application along with this we have to specify the uh, host name and the port number so let's say constant host name of type string is equal to 127.0.0.1 okay and then constant port number of type number is equal to some 5000 okay regular i'll give 5000 okay so once you have done with this uh, let's make the the basic uh, uh, server startup uh, it means generally in node.js we will write uh, uh, server or create server uh, those things are not required directly uh, urls you can make so here you have a functions a separate functions for each kind of request for example in node.js uh, we have a url like uh, url is equal to something method is equal to something that how we search right but here we have a specific functions for example we have a functions like let me change the language to javascript yeah we have functions like app dot get okay so this is for a get request and we say uh, if it is a post request you just say app dot post and if it is put request they say app dot put so like these type of functions are available for us so let's make the basic get request now i say app dot get request for the path first pa first parameter is the path empty slash and the next parameter is a function okay so this function takes in two parameters one is a request and response so request and response and moreover the request you need to specify the type uh, generally in node.js we import the http library but here we have no http library we have express so this request of type from express dot request okay and the response is from request uh, sorry sorry express dot response okay so this is how you specify the types and then uh, so what type of response you send okay so how you're gonna send the responses generally in um, what in a, a node yes we have response dot end only just one function available everything whatever you want to send you can just write end function but here we have few other functions available so response dot send function is available this is for a html response html response and there is something called html dot send file uh, this is for html page response not just html uh, tag response and we have another one uh, there is something called response dot json this is for uh, json json response if you want to send a json data you can just specify the json like this and you want to download something from server you have download so this is for so downloadable downloadable response okay like you have that's what uh, you know uh, the advantage of using a framework or library okay so let's make a send function i just want to return as normal html tag so let's back here uh, response dot uh, status uh, you can mention the status here status 200 this is how you mention the status dot send is a function 
uh, in 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 node js we have end function okay so let's say h3 slash h3 so let's say welcome welcome to express js and you want you can specify the styles as well just a style uh, uh, font uh, family just say lato and sans serif and uh, color color you can specify something called blue color you can specify something called blue violet or cadet blue something okay done so lastly you have to specify the app dot listen let's say app dot listen to the port number and the host name port number host name and uh, one callback function so here you need to write the confirmation let's say console dot log off so express so express server is started at http colon slash slash and you specify the host name uh, colon the port number okay fine so that's it this is what a basic express js server startup code and let me test this out how you test you just uh, go to the terminal location of the same path of your program and just say npm start because we have configured the package of json for start script just say npm start so this will start with a node mon and uh, you get the confirmation message after some time come on uh, yeah i got a confirmation message so let me test this url from my insomnia software so go to insomnia i don't need anything like this i don't need to send a form data uh, i i want this to be a get request and just empty slash and click on send you get welcome to express JS. okay so fine so this is how you will write a basic express JS server creation and you can give any kind of host name any kind of port number and this is how it will be okay and there is nothing called server creation uh, because that does internally for react js by the time you call app dot listen okay and we don't need to bother of server creation uh, this like http dot create server that handles internally of uh, express okay so it's very you know uh, it's like very minimal code and which helps us to develop applications in a bit faster way okay so that's it enough for this video for creation of express server and let's see the routing concept in the next video thank you so much for watching and please do subscribe to my channel and show your support thank you